I'm putting a new segment of videos together and that is um, going to be geared towards working line dogs, especially Malinois, because people are always asking me questions about their Malinois because they see me training Goofy and other Malinois. So um, I'm going to try to address as many questions in each video as I can. It's not going to be a one question answer um, type video. It's going to be a multiple question and answer type things, but it's going to be geared mainly towards Malinois or probably working line dogs and stuff like that. And the first question is going to go out to Ninja Wolf who says, um, how can I behave my Belgian Malinois keeps trying to bite me? The reason, and I don't know how old the dog is, but a lot of times puppies, we call them alligators because they're always biting, they're always chewing. That's in their DNA, that's in their drive to be tenacious biters and, 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 and doing that because that's what makes them great protection dogs, great sport dogs. Um, a lot of the show line dogs are going to have some different drives, but the reason your dog is doing that because that's the way he is. So in order to fix that, or the way I should say to fix that, is going to be to put the dog in a crate and only take the dog out through structured interaction, structured obedience. It's not going to be really fun for you because your dog's going to spend a lot of time in the crate, but this is the drive that you got. This is the dog you got, and you're going to have to understand that you've got to structure this in a way. If not, this dog is going to be out of control, and I've seen plenty of these dogs be out of control and end up in shelters and given away and put down. Not fair at all. Dog has to be in a crate, has to be created until you take it out and interact with it. That means you can put it on a leash, you're gonna walk it, you're gonna train it, you're gonna play with it, you're gonna do something. But give the dog something that the dog can chew on in the crate. When the dog comes out, it's only through interaction until the dog learns to be, to be calm. I'll tell you, a lot of people I know who have Malinois will crate them for up to a year or two um, until that crazy, insane drive starts to uh, dwindle down a little bit. But I would really suggest you get the dog put into an obedience program, something or some kind of a protection or bite sport um, program so the dog can learn to, um, to, to use their drive for something, okay? Goofy plots. Goofy's here trying to play with me too. The second question goes out to David Stone. I have a four and a half month old Belgian Malinois who has food aggression. Seems much worse if the food is really beefy smelling like canned food. She'll growl and snap, totally fry food with just or dry food with just water it doesn't seem to bring this out and I know this isn't good this is not good at all um, and four and a half months old it's not something you can't fix really really easily Goofy had the exact same thing over bones he'd go totally ballistic I'm going to suggest you hand feed the dog um, everything whether it's wet food or dry food it's always coming from your hands always 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 for the next two to three weeks there's no food in a bowl um, and then when you start to put in the bowl, make sure there's an abundant amount of food and maybe even put two food bowls down. Get the dog used to that the food's not going away. A lot of times younger puppies like this, they were raised with other puppies um, and they had to fight for their food and they had to be assertive and stuff like that. Four and a half months old, I don't think you're going to deal with that much of a problem with it. But hand feed. The wet food as well. Put the food in your hand and let the dog lick the food out of your hand. It's always coming from your hand. It will teach the dog. Um, a good behavior. It's going to take time, but it's not something you want to deal with that is food aggression just yet. Please get that straight. Next question goes out to Jeff Jumanjit, who says, um, how do I stop my four month old Malinois from leash pulling? He started pulling when he sees other dogs. When I try to get her attention, oh, it's a female, sorry. She won't listen to me and starts pulling straight forward to the other dogs. Well, yeah, because the other dogs, what this is, this is play drive. So the dog is trying to be, um, trying to have fun with another dog, trying to initiate play with the other dog and trying to get there, get there, get there. And the harder you're pulling on a leash, whether you have the dog on a, on a regular collar or on a harness, the dog is just gonna pull either through the pain on the neck or through the pleasure on the collar to get to the other dog. What you need to do is keep the dog away from those other dogs until the dog is calmer because it's not going to be a lot of fun for either dog because it's going to be too much drive. Have some treats with you, get the dog to come back to you, give him some treats, have a tug toy, get the dog to play tug with you. Let the dog start to learn that when that dog sees other dogs, there's a lot of fun coming back from you. So the dog will redirect back to you, play with you, have fun with you, and start to learn that you're the source of fun, not the other dogs. It's never, gonna, never, never, never gonna be a good idea to have your dog to learn to go away from you to have fun if you're trying to train the dog in obedience. Next question is to Fabio. Um, I wonder if it's the real Fabio, but maybe not. I have a seven-month-old Malinois. Every time after the walk, when he realizes that we go home, he starts to chew and pull on the leash. Any advice how to correct this? I tried to ignore it and also take the leash away from his mouth, but he gets wild and shows me his teeth. <laughs> he usually behaves very well. And I also do obedience with him. You need to do more obedience with him, and he needs to have a, a yuck or a fooey command. And don't put yuck and fooey or fooey and yuck together, because that'll... Um, spell something different. Well, you need to correct the dog for that, but what's happening is the dog sees that when, when it's time to go home, the fun is over. So what you need to do is you need to make going home the fun part and not going out or, you know, or being on the walk with them 
not that that shouldn't be fun, but have something great happen when the dog gets home. The dog comes back to you, take a bowl of food and show them that coming back to the house is going to get them food. It's going to get them a toy. It's going to get them something. Um, don't use really averse or corrections on the dog just yet. He's only seven months old, but showing you his teeth and stuff like that is not acceptable. He needs to have a yuck command, a fooey command, and he needs to understand that he's not to growl at you. But don't start playing the game when he growls at you to challenge him back because then you're going to start to get a, a game going. And if he learns he can win that game, you're, you're not going to have a dog you can live with. So positive things happens when he goes with you. Firm corrections are fine, but don't get into strong aversives with the dog just yet. You might want to hire a trainer to work with you, maybe get to a protection dog, um, sport an IPO field or a Mondio field, and have somebody work with you. This dog will probably help you a lot on that. Might be your first mal malo, I don't know. Okay. Um, Juancho Orbizo says, um, I always give a thumbs up to your videos. Then you're going to get your answer right here. Um, thank you for doing that. Um, my Belgian Malama puppy is more than my adult Shipu dog. I don't know what that is. My question is, why does my eight-month-old Malama fight with some dogs, but not most of the time? I can't seem to understand what types of dogs he fights with. I keep him on a leash, by the way. I would have no idea when he would lash out another dog. I humbly ask for your advice. So dogs are selective what they like and what they don't like. Now, I don't know, maybe it's, if he's neutered, maybe he's picking on intact dogs or vice versa. There's a lot of those things that can happen. But what you need to do is you need to not allow your dog to select who he's aggressive with and who he's not aggressive with. He needs to be obedient to you. So you need to focus back on your solid obedience. Um, you need to get the dog to focus back to you, to look at you, a good look command, a good leave it command, a good down command, that if the dog is starting to pull towards another dog, you tell him plots are down and he's gonna to listen to that. The word plots means lie down. It means completely, you know, stop interacting with anything you're doing. Down is the same, down plots uh, means to completely stop doing anything you're doing and that's gonna help your dog to, to focus back to you and be calm and just don't let him play with other dogs. I mean, it's, if you don't know who he's gonna be friendly with, I would suggest not having him interacting with any other dogs. And the last question goes to Jim Shevlin or Shevlin Jim, I don't know. Um, I have a Belgian Malinois German Shepherd mix that's 11 weeks old. Wanted to know what training any I should be attempting to do at this age. I love this question already. I've already started with commands like sit down, come, leave it, and the hardest one, no. Of course, that's the hardest one. Um, any suggestion to make it easy and fun would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for all you do for dogs. You're welcome, and thank you for being a part of this. What I suggest to do with a young puppy, 11 weeks old, is awesome to start solid, good obedience, luring and shaping like you're doing the sits, the downs, the comes, the stays. Teach him to start using his nose. You can start doing a little bit of scent games, nose work games, stuff like that. You can start teaching the dog good leash walking, get the dog around other safe dogs. Um, get the dog socialized with people. Take the dog to places like Home Depot with tons of treats. Get the dog to really understand that uh, it's all going to be positive. There's a lot of great things to happen. And just enjoy your puppy while he's a puppy. He's gonna, you're going to have a lot of time with him. But really importantly, don't expect too much from the dog. The dog is going to fail. The dog is going to have problems. The dog is going to have issues that you're going to have to solve. So just be patient, take your time, do a lot of positive training, a lot of structure training, get the dog. If you have this kind of shepherd uh, Mally mix, I mean, maybe get into some kind of a, a ring sport or, or an IPO club and get the dog conditioned, depending on what the dog's nerves are. Get a really good trainer who will give you a really honest answer on that. And you're going to have a great life with this dog. It's a great question. Training, 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 interaction, good structure, good socialization. Those are all the number one things you can do for your dog. Thanks for listening. Um, this is just a section on Malinois working line dog questions that will, um, will help you train your dog, give your dog good structure. You're gonna have a great dog. These dogs are a lot more work than, than a regular pet dogs. I know that. I've been there, been down that road, but um, it's so worth it. They're such amazing dogs, but don't get a working line dog, a Malinois or anything if you don't have the time to do it because it takes an immense amount of time. It takes an immense amount of effort to make these dogs um, what they really need to be. And getting one and not having the time for it is just the single worst thing you're ever going to do. Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.